Good afternoon, welcome to the Dance Engineering Dyno. Um, today we've got um, a rather interesting one on. Um, it's a, a very, a very old uh, Toyota Corolla, uh, a bit of a JDM sort of a, a thing. It's pretty cool, pretty, uh, pretty unusual. I think not, don't think there's many in the uh, in the UK. Uh, this one's been fitted with uh, the Toyota 4 age 16 valve engine. Uh, it's an earlier one, so it's got the bigger ports. Um, but yeah, cracking little engine. Uh, the car came to us wanting a full. Um, basically bike carb kit and uh, engine management putting on. So I just thought I'd give you an overview of the 4 age kit that we do um, for the 16 valve 4 age engine. We also do the 20 valve one as well. Um, but I'll just give you a rundown of what we've put on this car and then we'll do some uh, dyno noises and, uh, and see what it'll do. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna show you around first and, uh, and you can get an idea of what we offer in our kits. So hopefully you can, uh, you can see what we've got uh, going on in this engine bay now. Um, basically, we've got a set of our 37 millimeter ZX6 carburetors, uh, ideal size for an engine like this. Uh, they'll easily do 175 brake horsepower, but we've actually seen them on bigger engines doing more like 190. So, plenty big enough, really drivable, really nice set of carbs. The slightly later McCuny ZX6s that we've got on here. Uh, they've also been fitted with our optional uh, spun aluminium trumpet upgrade kit. Uh, the customer has purchased the air filter and backplate as well, um, but at the moment he wants to run the uh, the open trumpets like so to uh, to make it a bit more showy. Uh, so yeah, we've basically fitted our 37 millimeter carbs. It's like I say, it's a large port engine, uh, so an earlier one. Um, and then basically we've fitted him uh, engine management as well. So we've mounted the Ford type coil pack here, uh, used a set of our, um, our ignition leads. Um, and then that is being run by a Nodis Pro, uh, Nodis Gen X, sorry, uh, which we have mounted um, underneath the glove box inside. Just run the loom through here. Uh, it's also running the throttle position sensor here. So standard bike throttle position sensor, usual three wire job, very simple, uh, very easy to calibrate in the software and gives us the um, capability to map it in 3D. Uh, the customer had already fitted, um, if I can get down here and show you, um, it already got the um, crank uh, pulley wheel uh, with the, the 36 minus one on there. So there's a couple of kits available out there for these engines, um, which I can uh, we can point you to. Uh, they're a nice kit. So this came, it already had that bracket on there as well. We've just added the sensor, which is your typical Ford uh, two-pin ZTEC style VR sensor. Uh, once again, uh, that's for the Nodis Gen X ECU that we've mounted inside the car. So yeah, that's basically our kit. Um, nice and easy to install. Uh, on this one, we have actually fitted a bike pump in the back as well. I can show you that. Uh, if we just come around to the back of the car, Check out these 70s lines on the way around. I really like the styling of this car. I think it's really cool, really unusual. Uh, so yeah, we've got in the boot our little bike pump, uh, our uh, 3D printed saddle for it as well, nice and simple. Uh, so that's a little uh, low pressure interrupter pump, so it doesn't need a return line, makes it nice and simple. Uh, it's just a feed into the pump and a feed out up to the carbs. When it gets up to pressure, it'll stop clicking uh, until it needs more. Until the carbs need more fuel, at which point it will kick in again. So yeah, nice and simple. So yeah, that's the uh, the install. That's the sort of ZX6 37 mil carb kit that we offer. We also do offer a 40 mil carb kit, um, slightly more expensive. But yeah, if you've got a really highly tuned one then uh, we can do the 40 mil kit as well. So uh, yeah, let's get it on the dyno and uh, do a bit of tuning and see what it'll do. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, cracking little engine, really revvy. Uh, I do like tuning these, they sound fantastic, uh, as you heard on the video, I'm sure. 
Uh, we've got the graph behind us. Uh, so yeah, it's done really, really well. Really impressed. Uh, I think these are about 116 brake horsepower standard in the in the large port early form. Uh, this one's just done 140 brake horsepower, which is absolutely cracking. Uh, 120 foot-pounds of torque, uh, revving to a bit over seven. I've set the limiter at seven five um, to keep it safe. Um, well, seven three with a soft cut. Uh, so yeah, uh, 140 brake horsepower on our ZX6R carb kit and nodes. Um, so obviously I've set the ignition. I've tuned the ignition on the nodes, and, and then obviously we've rejected the carbs on the dyno. Um, to get it to where it is now but yeah absolutely cracking little engine uh, so yeah if you want a carb kit for your uh, Toyota 4 age then uh, get on our website dancedengineering.co.uk uh, links will be in the description blah 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 if you like this subscribe and we'll see you on the next video thank you